My name is Pete Lowe, I'm from Woodworth, Louisiana, and uh, this is my 1960 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. Actually, I started this project about three years ago. It's kind of uh, funny how I wound up with it. Actually, my wife had uh, bought it for me uh, for our 30th anniversary. And uh, the deal is now I had to build a car and take her on a date in it. That was the deal. So this November 20th, that's, that's when it'll happen. But it had been setting up for 30 years and uh, pretty rough shape when I got it. So my deal was is just to actually get it and see what I could do. I never built a car, never painted a car other than a rat rod. So this is, this is my first build right here as far as that goes. And uh, it's a... Uh, uh, like I say, it's a sedan, but uh, I redone all the interior on it. You know, I just want to go red and black, and I just thought red and black looked good on it, you know, and I put disc brakes all the way around it. I say I got disc brakes on the front, power brakes, you know, all the way around. It's got the 5.7 Vortex in it, and original rear end. But uh, other than that, it just took a long build and took me a long time to where a professional at it could probably have done it in half the time I did. I just had to learn as I went, you know, and one of those builds. One of the deal was I always wanted a, a big car. I wanted a low rider car. I wanted that old, uh, I'm gonna say Vegas low rider type deal. I was always interested in that. Never built anything. So uh, this car was actually sitting on the side of the road, you know, for sale. And uh, I said, I'd like that. And actually I went and looked at it and I, I didn't buy it. I backed out of it. And then three weeks later, my wife had went and bought it for me. And uh, so that's how I wound up with it. I, I, I turned it down and then she bought it. So I had to do it then. So, but that's, that's where we stand with it. Uh, is there anything you want to, you know, walk around and show us in particular, you know, special stuff about oh, this well, car, you, stuff that you put a lot of work into? Well, actually, all of the all of the chrome on it, other than the bumpers, the bumpers I had re-chromed on it, but the rest of the chrome on it is all, it's not chrome, it's actually stainless. And uh -huh. every bit of that, that was a real challenge for me, trying to clean it and polish it. You just don't send that off and have it re-chromed, you know, so that was a real challenge for me of, yeah. of, of getting all that on, getting it back, and as far as the, the body work on it, like say it was all new to me, so I was kind of proud of myself for the body work on it, you know, the way I got I, I'm I'm not a Barrett-Jackson car or World of Wheels car, you know, I'm a car show car, you know, that type of deal. So, but I've done some powder coating on it, my grill's powder coated in here and got a piece on the back of the powder coated, which where all of that is just a stainless grill, you know, some of that, just to change it up, the vibe on it a little bit, you know. Do you have any plans for this in the future? Anything else you want to do to it? Oh, uh, there's a few things. I still got a little work I want to do to the engine bay on it that uh, I want to put the vortex in. I want to get a lot of that in there and get some paint on that and make that show quality. And then I put a sound system in it. I got four 12s in the back and six 6x9s six in the front with tweeters on it, all that. So a lot of that I'm still tweaking on, trying to fine tune some of that. But uh, it's coming around. It's just new to me in that field. So I'm learning about And I've never, I don't never turn the radio on in my personal truck. I don't do none of that. But with this kind of car, I thought it had to have a sound system. So when I go down the road, we're going to turn it on.